Hi, I'm Jessica York from RSN. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, you've come to rely on RSN for your daily dose of outdoor information and entertainment. You've probably seen us because we're in more than 100 mountain resort and beach resort communities. Or maybe you've seen us on CNN Headline News, which airs in cities such as Denver, Chicago, Boston and Portland, Maine, which is where RSN is broadcast. Like you, we love to be outdoors and being active. But some kids are not active, and in the winter months, they're inside and not exercising. At RSN, we support a very important national program that also has its roots in Maine. It's called Winter Kids. Winter Kids is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to help Maine children develop lifelong habits of health, education, and fitness through outdoor winter activities. With us today is Carla Marcus, founder and executive director of Winter Kids. Carla, tell us a little bit about how Winter Kids has changed since its inception in the late 90s. Hi, Jessica. I'd love to tell you about that, and it has changed a lot. We started in the late 90s as simply an alpine skiing program for fifth graders, and we quickly realized that there was a lot more to our story than just alpine skiing. And we were really interested in the health and physical fitness aspects of the program and helping all Maine children and their families develop a lifestyle of health and physical fitness. So we've added three more programs. We now have four very important programs. And our Passport program, which was our first program, has expanded to include every fifth, sixth, and seventh grade child in Maine. Wow, that's great. Now, what exactly does a child get when they have a passport? With the passport, the child gets a whole season of free alpine skiing, free cross-country skiing, wow. snowshoeing, ice skating, and a variety of different winter sports. The child also gets free or discounted lessons and equipment rentals, and free or discounted tickets, lessons, and equipment rentals for parents, sisters, and brothers. We're reaching about 20% of the people in Maine. You know, that's really great because Maine has one of the highest rates of childhood obesity as well as type 2 diabetes. That's right. And we also lead the country in childhood asthma. So we have some serious health problems we, in Maine. And these, these problems are in large part due to lack of physical activity. So we're out there trying to correct that. Now tell me a little bit about Winter Kids Outdoor Learning Curriculum. What is that? We are very excited about our outdoor learning curriculum because this came directly out of teachers' requests. They contacted us and they said, give us something that we can use with our children to help them learn better and develop a lifestyle of physical fitness at the same time. So Jessica, we developed this wonderful learning curriculum. It's this great big book and it's filled with lesson plans, games, activities, uh, assessments, all different kinds of things. It's geared to children in grades K through 12 and all different subject areas and it really offers specific advantages and specific lessons so that teachers can go outside with their children and teach them math lessons, science, reading, have the children learn those things better and develop a healthy lifestyle at the same time. It's such a great program and in fact it's been so wildly successful that the National Ski Areas Association has picked it up as one of their national programs. That's right, Jessica. We've had a lot of interest from the national educational community and the national medical community, but National Ski Areas Association is partnering with us, and they are making the learning curriculum available to kids and teachers all across the country. To promote all winter outside activities, Winter Kids has developed the Active Academics Workshop and the World Class Athlete Tour. With me is Christy Murray, Project Director for Winter Kids. Christy, tell me a little bit about the Active Academics Workshop. Our Active Academics Workshop is based on the Winter Kids Outdoor Learning Curriculum. It's our hands-on opportunity to go into schools and um, reach teachers and administrators and teach them about the benefits of incorporating outdoor winter activity into their classrooms. So how does that work, actually teaching them? What do you teach? What we do is we have a variety of lessons we deliver. Um, one of them, for example, is our cardiovascular lesson where we strap snowshoes and cross-country skis on kids and get them outside moving around. Um, before they know it, their heart rates are up, they're exercising, and they're learning about the importance of keeping you know, their heart healthy even in the winter. Now, tell me a little bit about the World Class Athlete Tour. What is that? Okay, the World Class Athlete Tour brings champion athletes to schools throughout the state of Maine. 
Um, we're lucky enough to have U.S. Olympian Julie Parisian as our spokesperson. Wow, that's great. Yeah, and she's accompanied by um, by other sports athletes as well. We have a top world-class figure skater, Alexa Ainsworth. Um, we have a professional hockey player. We have an Olympic biathlete. And we have a world-class snowboarder. So we've got all the bases covered. We do. Excellent. Thanks, Christy. Now, we all remember the excitement when Bodie Miller won the gold and silver at the Salt Lake City Winter Olympic Games. USA! Hi, I'm Bodie Miller. When I was a kid, being outside, having fun, being healthy was what I did. I guess that makes me a winter kid. So why don't you guys get outside, have some fun, ski, snowboard, snowshoe, just be healthy, be a winter kid. But not all kids who play outside during the winter aspire to be gold medalists. In fact, some kids through the Winter Kids program have discovered major health benefits and improvements. With me is Leisha Murray and her daughter Chelsea and her son Zachary. Now Leisha, a few years ago, Zachary got into the Winter Kids program and before that he wasn't much of a skier. Now he's a solid skier. What happened? He, Zachary and Chelsea both have severe asthma and allergies and required them to be indoors most of the winter. And our allergist really promotes following her treatment plans for medication and exercise. Mm. And we really didn't do a lot of that in the winter. And we got the fifth grade ski pass and we decided we'd use it and he did okay with that without having to add extra medicine. And we used every coupon in our book that year. And he increased his lung capacity a lot, and he has, both of them have reduced their um, medicine a great deal. Wow, just skiing, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, Zach, so skiing must be a ton of fun, but mm. this program actually changed your life. A lot, actually. Um, I get to go outside, be a normal kid, go skiing, play in the snow, instead of being cooped up inside, watching movies, laying on the couch, doing my medicine all day, and just being a couch potato. So it gets you outside? Oh, a lot more. Now, Chelsea, you've seen what it's done for Zach. Are you excited to be a winter kid? Yes, because we all get to like do it as a family. And my dad and uncle come too, and it's really fun. With me is Pam, Maggie, and Connor. Connor's in seventh grade, so he's in his last year of the Passport program. Tell me, what is it like being a, a winter kid? It's great. You can get out um, besides the snow forts and all that. You can just go skiing, tubing, snowboarding. It's fun. So, Pam, uh, what has Winter Kids been like for your kids? Has it turned their to-do list into um, more than just um, eating Cheez-Its on the couch? I think it exposed them to a lot of winter sports they might not have been exposed to if it wasn't available to us. And in Maine families that spend a lot of time inside because of the cold weather, it's gotten kids to get used to doing things outside all year round. And um, with our family, instead of sitting in front of the TV and watching movies or playing on the computer, it's gotten them to actually go outside and exercise. Winter Kids gives so much to so many. Carla, as a nonprofit, how do you do it? That's a really important question, Jessica, because funding, raising the required funding is the most difficult part of my job. We are a nonprofit, as you just said, and we are not funded from any place other than what we can raise on our own. So we get some grants, we have individual donors, and we have corporate sponsorship. Now, I imagine as a corporate sponsor, it would be really nice to have your name tied with such a great organization. Well, our corporate sponsors do say that. They're, they, they like the exposure that we give them. They like being aligned with the premier children's fitness organization. But they also like doing something good and making a difference. You certainly are. <laughs> Thank you. Our nation's youth, your children are at risk. And it's programs like Winter Kids that with your help can make a difference. Winter can be so much fun for your kids, for your family. Go outside, get healthy, be a winter kid. For RSN, I'm Jessica York.